Happy birthday, daddy. Hope you are having a blessed day. You can't see me? Well, this is Jesslyn, the first blessing you've ever had in your life. Daddy, you are going to be looking at people that want to express and show their love for you. You've been a wonderful example of a man of God, a father, grandfather, and a best friend. So daddy, this is your life. Sit back and enjoy. God bless you and I love you so much. Jesse. Well, Uncle Jose, we hear that you're having a birthday and it's a big one. What a blessing to be 90 years old. God has truly blessed you. Yes, Jose, we just got home. We're just getting ready to... I'm going to sing your birthday a little bit. Oh, he's going to sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Uncle Hobie. Happy birthday to you. And many more. And may God continue to bless you, Uncle Hosey. We love you. We have love a, you, Jose. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day, Jose. Uncle Jose, I want to say happy birthday to you. Uh, you are an inspiration. Um, I want to grow up just to be like you. Uh, you are a wonderful person and an excellent singer. I, I don't know if I'll ever beat that one, but anyway, uh, I love you and I wish you uh, a lot more. And uh, uh, glad. I hope to see you soon. Thank you, Uncle. Happy birthday. Bye. Happy birthday, Uncle Hosey. Happy 90th birthday. This is from Tad and Quinetta. Happy birthday, Uncle Hosey. Love uh, you guys. Love you guys. Uh, I'm uh, Mert's daughter. It uh, was nine of us. I'm eight. So that would be Betty, Tommy, Velma, Clyde, Bruce, Trace, I mean, Denise, Tra me, Denise, Keith, Tracy, and me. And so we just wanted to make sure that we got a chance to say happy birthday. We love you. We always appreciate your prayers and every entity that we've ever gone. God, may God bless you and keep you. And if y'all were having a dinner, we were going to get on the road and come see you. Stay safe. Love you guys. Take care, Uncle Ozzy. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Uncle Hosey. Uncle Hosey, I thank you so much for still being your girl. When Jean and I was little, I was your girl. And Jean was Uncle Lena's girl. Thank you so much for the beautiful love. May God bless you. Happy birthday, Uncle Hosey. May you have many, many more blessed birthdays. Love you. Nisi, Virginia. Happy birthday, Uncle Hosey. Have a blessed day. Love you. Bye-bye. Wishing you special blessings on your 90th birthday. Happy birthday, Uncle Hosey, from Rosalind and Deshaun. Happy birthday, Uncle Hosey. You have a blessed day. Love you, man. Happy birthday, blessings, Uncle Hosey. We love you and thank you for being the awesome encourager that you are. Have a blessed and fun day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Uncle Hosey. Happy birthday to you. We love you. Happy 90 years. Happy 90 years. Love you. Love you much. Bye. Love you, Uncle Hosey. It's Cody behind the camera. Happy birthday, Uncle Hosey. From the Robertsons. We love you. Mwah. Uncle Hosey, we are so grateful and blessed to have you in our lives. We thank God for you and for your examples, and we pray that he will continue to bless you.
Hi, Uncle Hosey. It's your niece, Sharon. Happy 90th birthday, and 90 looks great on you. I hope you have a very happy day, and I pray that you have more to come. We love you. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Deacon Daddy. Daddy. Happy birthday to you. On this your happy day, we say happy birthday, Deacon Daddy. Daddy, happy birthday. 57 years of happy, sad, mad, all kinds of things. But I'm thankful and grateful to venture with you on your journey in life. So I'm blessed. I enjoy you, man. I love you. And I just want to say, man, without you, I would be nothing. And uh, I'm trying my best to measure up to the man you are. I'm working on it. Anyway, man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Okay. Uh, my name is Hosea Terard Demarcus Robinson. I am the grandson of Hosea Robinson. The name Hosea in Hebrew means salvation. And my grandfather has definitely been a salvific force in my life. Um... I have been through a lot of things and I know that at the very base level, his prayers have gotten me through, his presence has gotten me through. Um, I understand forgiveness from him. I understand um, hard work from him. I understand presence from him, presence, accountability. And um, I want to be like him. So I um, just want to take some time right now to just send my grandfather his well wishes. And sorry, Grandma, I missed you on your birthday, but I heard you were sick too. Anyway, I love y'all. Y'all look so good. And I'm just very thankful that you guys are still around. The world is a much better and brighter place because you guys are still here. And to my grandfather specifically, um, your work definitely speaks for itself in your children um, and in your work with God. So be well, happy birthday. Happy 90th birthday, Grandpa. I love you so much. You are the bestest Grandpa in the whole wide world. I am so grateful and so honored to be able to say that I am a Robinson, that I am your grandchild, one of only two granddaughters. You know, I just, I'm really grateful for all your love, your kindness, your patience, your strength, just everything that you have poured into our family, our family, like you are the bomb.com. Um, you are an amazing singer. Um, I love to hear you sing. Like you are just everything. You are resilience. You are strength. You are kindness. You are boldness. You are a strong black man. You are everything to me. And I appreciate the love and kindness again that you have given to me throughout my 34 years of life. Love you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy 90th birthday, Daddy. Birthday, happy birthday, happy 90th birthday to ya. You did good. Okay. Dad, 90 years is a milestone. Epic. And we just want to take the time to honor you. Words cannot express how much we love you. Amen. You are an awesome father, grandfather, great-grandfather, and a husband to my mom. 
and mm -hmm. an awesome man of God. We honor you and we love you and mm -hmm. just want to wish you all the way from San Antonio, Texas. All the way. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You done? I'm done. Cool. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. Peace. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. Come on, hit solo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Happy birthday! Say happy birthday, Papa! Can you blow Papa a kiss? Mwah. Mwah. Good job! Say love you! Can you say love you? Say bye-bye! Bye! Bye! Say have a great day! Hi, Grandpa! Happy 90th birthday! 90 is... 90! Do I know anyone else that's 90? I don't think so. I, and you know, I work at a bingo hall. That is such a milestone. Congrats on making it to 90. You've been my biggest influence for 25 of those 90 years. And the other 65, I'm sure you influenced the whole world. And you're just an amazing person. I couldn't be a prouder grandson. If I'm allowed to do that, I'm just the proudest grandson ever. And I don't think there's... A grandpa in the world I'd rather have. Like, when God made me, he was like, this is the grandpa you need. This is the grandpa you will have. And this is the grandpa that's going to make your life absolutely perfect. So once again, happy birthday, grandpa. I hope you have the best birthday ever. Whatever you do at 90 years old. <laughs> I know you're going to have fun with it. I know you're going to have a lot of family around. I know family is so important to you, so... Once again, happy birthday, Grandpa. Love you. Bye. Hi, Uncle Hosey. This is Wanda. And Michelle. And we're just sending you the video to tell you happy 90th birthday. We pray that God continues to bless you and strengthen you each and every day. We love you. Happy birthday. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Uncle Jose, this is Carrie, Lennox, and Shirley's baby boy. I was coming to say, wishing you a happy 90th birthday. The best wishes to you and your family. I want to also say that I was always happy to see you when you came to the shop. You were always a inspiration to me. I looked up to you. And I hope the best blessings to you. I love you. Jose, this is your sister, Opal. And I'm just so proud to be able to say happy name and birthday to you. Really feel good. I'm going to catch it. <laughs> All right. Rajane? Happy birthday, Jose. All right. Aunt uh, Velma? Happy 90th birthday for Jose. Uh, all right. I'm so, so happy to have him here. <laughs> Thank you, Avon. G. Jose, happy 90th birthday. Uncle Jose, this is Anita. I would like to wish you a happy birthday and many more. And I love you very much. And happy birthday from Mama, too. Thank you. Happy birthday, Uncle Jose. And many, many more. I ain't far behind you, but I ain't gonna catch up with y'all. Okay. Goodbye. Happy birthday, Uncle Jose. Many, many more to you. Happy birthday. Bye bye. Well, hello, everybody. This is Ray. I want to tell my Uncle Jose, one of my favorite uncles, happy birthday from his favorite nephew. <laughs> <laughs> 
Greetings there, Robinson family. I am Ray Robinson, the son of Reginald Robinson, the grandson of H.C. Robinson. I just wanted to wish a happy 90th birthday to my Uncle Jose. Happy birthday, Unc, and let's get 90 more out of you. Love y'all. Happy birthday, Brother Jose. And I like everything you do for me. I like how you treat me. I have five brothers that deceive, but you is the number one. And everything that I say about you, I mean it, cause you is a wonderful person to me. You do anything I ask you to, and anytime I can help you to do something, I do it, and I love you for how you stand by me, and happy birthday to you at 90 years old. I hope I live to see 90 and be in good shape like you, but I have one thing I'd say, you need to get you a good phone because I have been calling you and you do not answer your phone. Why don't you get Justin to get you a phone? But just like I said, I love you, and I know you love me. All of my brothers that were real good to me. I don't know what I'm the king or what, but every one of y'all treated me like I was somebody, and I appreciate that. I hope I can live to get named. So appreciate everything. Goodbye. Good morning, Uncle Jose. I want to say happy birthday. I love you. And thank you for being a great matriarch of our family. May God bless and keep you is my prayer. Uh, again, I love you. Happy birthday from the Ellis family. Happy birthday, Uncle. Hi, happy 90th. That is so great. We love you from California. We hope you have a great day and another great year around the sun. Stay healthy. Hey, and we only hope to be able to accomplish as much as you have in our lifetime. We really, really appreciate you. Love you. Love you. Bye. Robinson, and I am the youngest brother of Jose Robinson. Uh, this is a dedication to his 90th birthday and uh, all the wisdom and understanding and knowledge that he passed on to me. I would just like to thank him and wish him the best in the future. Uh, we're counting down for the next 10 years. So happy birthday to Jose Robinson. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, cousin Jose. Happy birthday to you. Listen, look at you, still looking good. You enjoy that 90th birthday. You don't look a you don't look a day of 90. Do no, no, you don't. Take care. We love you all the way from Kansas City. Bye. Have a good one. birthday mom and pop Robinson thank you for sharing your wisdom with us over the years may God who is always good continue to bless you with many many more birthdays love the murders happy birthday Mr. Robinson I hope that you enjoy this day and that is everything that you desire and hope it to be uh, 90 is indeed a milestone and I hope that as you reflect upon this day that this day will just be the culmination of all the years that you spent on this earth. Thank you again for all that you do for others, including myself. 
and how did you inspire others to live their best life? Happy birthday to you. Hello, Deke Mother. Hope you're having a good evening. This message is for Deacon Jose Robinson. We love you. And I don't know where to start on this message, so let me just start from the beginning. From the first day I seen you two come into Community Lighthouse, I just seen an array of light. Someone that I learned to respect, someone that I really truly learned to love, and so many other things. By the time I really got to know you after all the brotherhood meetings and all the breakfasts and all the just having the long conversations, we really bonded and I really loved talking to you. I've never had a time when I didn't enjoy talking to you. But just being a friend of yours means so much to me and my wife. And I can't say enough about behind every good man stands a good woman. And mother, we love you too. <laughs> Amen. Belated birthday to you also. But I just want to touch on a few things that uh, you guys are truly amazing. The Smith family loves the Robinson family. Yes. And I mean this with all my heart. And that I've seen what a man's supposed to walk and stand and talk like. Um, I've seen how you treat mother. I mean, I got to learn how to open the door every time I... <laughs> go out to the car and I see you do that still. That's love. Mm -hmm. I really respect you and mother and y'all are a big part of our lives. But if I can, I want to tell you something that's kind of close to my heart. And I hope I say this right. The strength of a man. You know, some men think they can go to the gym and work out hours, days, months at a time. And they think that's what makes them strong. But I've learned in my, in my journey that that's not what makes us strong. Because I see little five foot five, 150 pound you <laughs> that's stronger than all of them. Uh, a man's strength isn't measured in muscle. A man's strength is what he's able to bear and overcome. And I've seen you in all your years just about overcome and bear a lot of things. And I think you're very mighty. And I got to learn to be just as mighty in my walk. What the world needs is more men like you to show the younger generation on what really makes us live a long and successful life. And I hope this message finds you in good health. We love you. Can't wait to see you. <laughs> love you too, mother. <laughs> Happy birthday, D. Love you. <laughs> Two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Deacon Robinson. We love you. We are so glad that God blessed you to see your 90th birthday. We are looking forward to celebrating with you in the future. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. Love the Shiguru family. <laughs> All right. This is Tristan. Jose Robinson's grandson interviewing the matriarch of the family, Bertha Robinson, and she has a special message for Grandpa. Grandma, what is that? The special message? Yeah. Oh, the special <laughs> message would be, I love you. <laughs> I think that would be the first message and happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Grandma. I mean, Grandma. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This has got off to a great start. So, Grandma, I have some questions for you. Okay. Okay, first, how did you and Grandpa meet? Oh, Christian, that's a long story, and I'll make it short <laughs> as I can. But uh, Grandpa and I met uh, on a blind date, believe it or not. Wow. Uh, I was 17 years old, going on 18, and he was 19. And we were two young people, <laughs> and um, I had a friend, uh, a girlfriend, and he had a boyfriend. 
and I knew his boyfriend, and uh, his boyfriend met my girlfriend and wanted to meet her. So he told me, he said, if, if you introduce me to your friend, I have a friend to introduce you to. And I said, okay. And so he did. He told me his name and everything, and make it short, his name was Halsey Robinson, he told me, <laughs> and he said, he's a nice person, I want you to meet him. So we met, uh, I told him, my, give him my address, my telephone number, and to give me a call. So he did, and the young man called, come by. And when he came, I had never seen him before, so I didn't know what he would look like or anything. But anyway, he introduced himself. I introduced mine, and he told me his name and everything, and he said, I come to take you on a date if you would be interested. And I played dumb like I didn't know what he was talking about. You know? <laughs> and I don't think that went too well with him. He said, well, it's okay with me. My friend just told me you wanted to meet me. I said, oh, I was just playing with you. Yes, I'm Bertha Robinson. And I got ready, and we went together out to a movie that afternoon. And that's how we met uh, a blind date. And it's almost been, and it's been 69 almost years. 69 oh. years. Okay. That week. Ha- uh, happy years. <laughs> Best years. We've had a beautiful life together. Okay. That leads me to my second question. Okay. What's the secret to being married for 68 going on 69 years? The secret. If there's a secret. Because <laughs> y'all two are doing it very well. <laughs> the secret of being together, being married for 68 years, almost 69, this coming July the 26th. To the date. The secret is God. We were young, uh, very young, but we were brought up in the church for both of us. And we did believe in God and we both went to church and Sunday school, believe it or not. We, he loved movies. Oh, he loved movies. Mm-hmm. I didn't miss a movie because he loved John Wayne and all the rest <laughs> of it. So I saw all the kind of John Wayne movies and we had a great life together as young people going to the movies and to church. We never did stop going to church. We went to movies. After movies, we went to church. After church, we went to the movies. And that was a, he was not really a wild young man. He was kind of calm, cool, and collected. You know what I mean? Okay. So I was uh, enjoying that kind of a friend, you know, that didn't like the rough kind of life because I was raised one daughter and I wasn't allowed to go to a lot of the out places. Mm -hmm. And so that wasn't very hard for me to adjust to going to Sunday school and YPWW and cowboy movies. Of -hmm. course, he was a young man, and I can't tell you what he was doing. (laughs) I will not say what he was, but I can truly say he was one of the most nicest, intelligent, young men that you would ever want to meet. And that's what I fell in love with him because of his attitude. He was so kind. He never taken me to movies or anything because before when he would bring me home, he would ask me, was I hungry? Did I want anything to eat? He was very hospitable. He had a lot mm-hmm. of hospitality. And he just made me love him because he was so good and so kind. And that's what I fell in love with about him. Mm-hmm. I love that. Oh, okay. So many more things, but I can't tell you. But that was one. <laughs> Okay. He was handsome. He was a handsome, clean, cool, and collecty dressed. Very nice and clean. And uh, he was just different, can I say. Okay. Very different. 
I, I love that. Cool, calm, and collected. Okay. Yeah, he was cool. He was cool, and I tell you, uh, he drove cool car. <laughs> and I guess maybe me being young, <laughs> I might have fell in love with those beautiful cars. Now, he was very young, but he would keep a nice car. He kept his cars clean, and they was part of like him. They were different. Uh, he was just an unusual young man. That's all I can say about him. He was unique. He was unique. He, he was, was unique. Woman. Very unique. Okay. Question number three. Okay. What is your favorite memory of you two together? Favorite memory. And if you have, I have ten favorite. I know. <laughs> I was, I was if you have more than one, that's okay. If you just give us one. That would be great. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so hard. The favorite memory of us being together, us us being together. And once again, she has multiple favorite memories, multiple. but she's just going to give us one of them. But, you know, once we met and fell in love with each other, we was, it seemed as though we were made for each other. I was lonesome as being a young woman without his presence. I didn't try to meet other young men. After I uh, met my husband, my boyfriend at that time, I met other young men, and but they didn't appeal to me, not one bit. When they would ask me my, my name, I told them his name. <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't interested. And so uh, I just enjoyed his presence so being with him, enjoying fun things we did together as young people, going to the movies and going out to eat and those kind of things, I enjoyed uh, being in his presence, his company. I would be lonesome uh, without him, really. And we were just young people, but it just seemed like to my life without him was just Something missing when he wasn't around. And I was always so happy when we were together. Okay. And okay. we were just dating then. We wasn't even... Uh, Engaged. engaged. <laughs> In fact, the funny thing about him, he had told me one time he had intent to ever get married. Really? <laughs> yeah, we talked. We talked. We were friends. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, he told me that of course I didn't pay that no attention because I knew what I had in mind I had in mind is being nice and good and respectful the way I was raised and I just had in mind that young man someday would be my husband mm -hmm. that's just the way I felt about him at 18, Ooh. going on 18. Going on point, 18. One point. You already knew. Uh, okay, Grandma, last question. You two have been married once again for almost 69 years. Almost, yes, yes. Just, just a few more months, 69 years. With yes. that being said, you two have had three kids. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite memory of you and your fa family together. And I know, once again, you probably have multiple favorite well, memories. Just give me one of them. The first was that first baby. That first child. Aunt uh, Jesslyn. That little girl. God gave us a blessing, a little daughter. And to see him rushing home from work, not stopping along the way, but when he get off of work, he coming right straight home and get his baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have her dress so cute, clean and everything, mm -hmm. ready. And when he come in and give me a hug and get his baby in his in the little carriage, and all he go, I don't know where he was going, taking his baby for. And she was just a tiny little baby. Now that was, I guess my first favorite memory <laughs> of my family is seeing him being 
such a loving, devoted father. He was so happy and so proud of that little girl. And that was special to me. Mm -hmm. And he stayed that way, you know. He's mm -hmm. always been that way. Uh, after we were blessed with two more, he was one of the most kindest, loveliest fathers that you would ever want to meet. He never fussed at his children. He loved them so much. And uh, they loved him. I could tell when he was home, the first thing I did, Daddy home, Daddy home. <laughs> glad to see Daddy home. So that is one of the memories I have of us being a family. We were so happy. We were so happy. Okay, Grandma. Well, those were the questions I have to you. Before I end this video, is there anything else you want to say? The only thing that I would like to say to my husband is happy, happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> uh, and I wish you many, many more. And you know, I really hate to think of the idea of the day that we will no longer be together in this life, but I'm looking forward to us spending eternity together in heaven. We have lived that kind of life together. Uh, after we got married, we got saved, we got filled with the Holy Ghost, and we spent our entire life with God and with our children. We raised our three children up in the church to love God. And I'm so happy today to say that my three children are yet in the church and they have get, given us beautiful grandchildren. I thank God for we have three beautiful grandsons. Jose, Terod, Robinson, Tristan, Brewer, mm -hmm. and Tri Tristan Brewer is my baby daughter's two sons. Jose is my son's son, and Aubrey is my son's daughter. Of course, I lost one of my grandchildren, but we were a happy family together. And that's the first death that we have had. But God has been good to us. God has been good to Jose and Bertha. To live, I am 88 years old. 88. And Jose, if God be, bless him. In the next few days, he will be 90 years old. And we have never been separated. We have never had a argument about a divorce. There was never a question. We never got together with that intention. Mm -hmm. We got together to spend our life together and we intend to for death to part us. And I want you to know today, darling, that I love you more today than I did yesterday. <laughs> and you have been the greatest inspiration in my life. And I want to thank you for helping me when I needed you most. There were times in my life that I had to take care of my mother and my father. And you stood by my side. You helped me to care for them. You helped me to bathe them. You helped me to dress them. And I want you to know words cannot express to you today the appreciation and the love that I have for you today, Jose. I love you. I will always love you. And you will always be the greatest part of my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, I'm getting choked up here, so... Well, that was Grandma Bertha Robinson. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Yes. Bye. <laughs>